Where's your pride and desire to win this game? The game should be put to bed. We're not moving the ball quick enough. 79 minutes on the clock and Dan plays a lovely ball over the top into the flash. The boy takes the ball down beautifully. King Kong, this is a robot of theme song. Sure, if an escorts begin form, we got gunners and shoes on action. I give it all for my team. Better than us, what the hell do you mean? Sweat on our collars and hearts on our sleeve, yeah. Legacy more than a dream. Winning, we win it, we win, it, we win yeah. Nothing is possible. Winning, we win it, we win, yeah. Nothing is possible. Winning, we win it, we win, yeah. Nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. Yo my people, it's your boy Skipper J and we are back this week with another game. Today we take on legends in the Sunday League scene in the form of Kenanwell. Kenanwell are a great side and one of the longest founded teams in our division. So you know it won't be easy. But I hope like myself you got faith in the boys to go out there and bring home the victory. Today is not a league game so there is no three points up for grabs. But the prize will be to get through to the next round of the PPC Cup. This is one of the last cups that we are in, so the boys need to make sure they turn up, perform and bring home the victory. Thank you to everybody that has tuned in over the last few weeks. We have nearly reached our goal of 1000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed, make sure you like, comment and you subscribe. Also make sure you go back and watch our previous games. Our last game against Lambeth and Farnborough are doing great numbers, so we appreciate the help. Jay, you're late still. You can't talk about being late. You are I late. Come I want to. And I played and him last wow. week. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much. You see this? The chairman treating us nicely. You get me? Yes, chairman. Turn on. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Look at my son growing up, man. Come on. Where's Jay? Oh, I love it. I love it. Every time. Oh, what's that, Jay? Huh? What's that? Chicken bake, bro. Every time Sean gets me a chicken bake, I score or assist. Oh, okay. Normal. Normal. Tradition, yeah. Little Brick. Hey, E man, talk to Little Brick. Yeah, little Brick. He said someone's better than him. Who's better than him? From Canada. On the other team. What? Better than you. Who you are? What's going on, bro? Little <laughs> Brick. <laughs> Is it going to last the whole game today or what? Oh. Both of them. Every time I'm doing the video commentary, they're all, always coming off. <laughs> When you're playing hard like us, yeah. When you're carrying the midfield, no. yeah. Oh, you carrying the midfield, you got to last 90 minutes. Oh, if you can't last 90 minutes in the pitch, I don't know how long you last in bed, mate. Thanks for coming, mate. Hey! Hey! I gave you your white socks for your first game. Nah, no, you didn't, man. Yes, did. hey, okay, then someone finessed it. Someone finessed Man, them are sucking socks. Yeah. Someone finessed me, like, though. Like, Paul Scholes. Man, them are sucking socks, like Paul Scholes. I'm vlogging. Don't even do that. That is nuts. No, but seriously, that's man's daughter, man. That's man's daughter, man. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? What the f***, man? What the f*** your daughter told? Hey, hey, what's wrong with you today? Hamstring, bro. Hamstring, Hamstring for two weeks, man. For two weeks? Yeah, when I was carrying you, do you remember in the midfield? Oh, uh, someone yeah. said you want a holiday, that's probably why you're not playing. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, but yeah. I'm back today. Oh, no, you can get hey, to the did team I fly still. in today? So, today someone said you couldn't get to the team still. Oh. Me, me, Chan and Dan. Is it? Oh. 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 Cecil's on a long thing. It's not just 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes times 16 because there's 16 of us, I like, or more. So that's how much time he's wasted. I am going inside. This will be the first time we take on Kenilworth this season. We know we gotta play them in the league also, so it'll be great for Mind Games to leave with a win today. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to the Wall FC and we hope you can stick with us on our journey. We want to smash at least 300 likes this video and also just remember to leave a comment so we can ask some questions for the boys. The last few weeks have really been a turning point in our season, so I really do hope the boys can kick on from here. As I said, the boys know that this is one of the last cups that we are in, so the boys have to turn up and perform. We do know a few of the lads that play for Kenanwell, so we know this will not be an easy ride, so it's up to the boys to show that nothing gets past the wall. Team to start. Ted and goal. E man right back. Reese. Bod centre back. Divine. Start for full back. Yeah, left back. Did you 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't paid in two years, you know this. <laughs> Dubai! Dubai left back! <laughs> Midfield, Chan, Dan, Jay, same as last week. Up top, Cecil and the two Chrissies either side of him. We've got to be better in our transitions and we've got to absorb pressure by doing the right things. Last week we managed to do it, but we've got to calm down. When we calm down in here, we can look after the ball. Not relax, but calm down and assess what's going on. Listen to your teammates. If your teammates saying set it or switch it, trust your teammates. Today's about trust. Trust and hard work and we'll get the three points today. Yeah. Sure. These are love a switch. So that means that defensively we need to know how to transition. So when you're off the ball and the play looks like it's got nothing to do with you, you have to concentrate. It could come over to your side at any point. And one little lapse of concentration can cost a goal. Kenningwell is the club with the experience. They've been in and around this league for a long, long, long time. They're not the team to sleep on because they've been around for ages. Their manager, I worked with him in a men's environment. He's really smart. There's no way that I'm not going to give him the respect that he deserves, yeah? Very good at problem solving. Good guy. Just because they're not they're not Lambeth and they're not SE Dons. Like I said, they've got experience that those two yeah, teams don't have. Yeah, 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 so let's not take the piss. And Leon's not here. I think we should win with him there, yeah, without, yeah. even though for he's Leon. not here. Yes, for Leon. Most importantly, do it for yourselves. Pride. Yeah, do it for yourselves. Do it for pride. Be aggressive with the press. Like last week, we was aggressive. We won the ball back in their half a lot of the time and they made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Same again this week. Yeah. Nothing mm. changes, yeah? yeah? All that talking that Sage was doing last week at the back, that was so fucking <laughs> important, man. So make yeah, sure yeah. everyone's doing that across the whole park. And if we just press together and boom, we, we'll get the ball back ASAP, boys. If you get a moment, where you get tired, keep the ball. When you are tired, the ball moves quicker than you. Otherwise, remember, our thing is we work hard. Yeah. Alright boys, wall on three, yeah? Mm. One, two, three! The gaffers have decided to stick with a 4-3-3 formation with Ted in goal. Lil Brick divine at left back. Reese comes back in next to Bods and Eman at right back. In the middle of the park, they've gone with Dan, Chan and myself, Skipper J. And up top, Chris on the right. The Wizard on the left. And there is no Zeps today, so they've gone with Cecil up front. And for the bench boys, we got Big SJ back in the fold. Meeks, New Silent Tyler, Jordy and Gaffer Says. So with two big teams going at each other, this should be an entertaining game. Chan gives it out to the Wizard. Wizard stands it up and gives it back to Chan. Chan plays a nice ball over the top, but that's cleared up by Kenanwell. Only one minute in and the boys look like they settled in from early. Divine gives it to Chan, who gives it back to the Wizard. And he tries to find Jay with a lovely ball in behind, but it's cleared up by the keeper. Two minutes on the clock and Chris intercepts possession. He leaves this Kenanwell defender for dust, gets round him and gets a ball into the box. Wall corner. Chan crosses the ball in, but it's saved by Cecil, who takes this Kenanwell defender down the line and sends him to get a low for bread Perfect. and pulls out another bag of tricks. Perfect. Oh, oh, someone finish it. Ted on a free kick and Cecil wins a foul looking like a fish out of water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I said salmon. We'll have it. But also the wind, guys. Yeah. We gotta understand that there was a bit of time. Aerodynamic Aerodynamic the yeah, and then, yeah, and yeah. then by the time... Got some aerodynamics fair. underneath his armpit and that. The wizard steps up. But it's straight in the keeper's hands. 12 minutes on the clock and it's wall possession. But they lose the ball and it could be a Kenanwell counter. But Divine wins it back. Jay plays it into Chris. And the defender sends him tumbling. Hey. Right, one nil. Thank you, lads. One nil. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Taf is the pleasure. biggest trash talker, I know. The wizard steps up. But again, the keeper gets the best of him. 18 minutes on the clock and Ted decides he wants to play outfield. Reese clears it out. It's a battle between Dan and the Kenanwell striker. Free kick to Kenanwell. Oh, ref. Instead of shooting it up to cross it back post, he keeps the ball in. And it's days like these that I love when we have official linos. Got lucky there, boy. That was a close one. Kenanwell did put the ball in the back of the net, but the lino called for offside. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if he was offside or not, but that's not for me to call. 22 minutes on the clock. The game has been back and forth, but I do feel the wall have been the better side. Oh Chan on the corner for the wall, and I'm not sure how Cecil had missed his head off. Oh. And it comes out to Chris, but he puts it oh. wide. And Eman showing how you tackle and keep the ball. Yeah. 23 minutes in, and the boys are starting to get into their stride. Chrissy plays it, and that's a lovely touch by Jay into Chan, but then Chan loses the ball. And this one's called two Kenanwells and one Cecil. And I'm not sure how the ref gave that free kick against us, but it doesn't matter because Eman's through on goal. But I can hear the drums. Good try, good try. Oh, you're rude, fam. Someone said Eman was dribbling lucky. Like you can hear the drums, fam. 
We got another DM after last week's game against Lambeth asking how we can call Chrissy the Wizard if he's only done it twice. I told him just tune into this week's episode. And that is why we call him the wizard. Three weeks in a row, three top corners, and three different keepers. He does it every week! He does it every week! He does it every week! And that's one nil to the wall, but I think it's made someone angry. The brick showing what the brick does. He carries the ball forward. One on one with their right back, and he shows him a clean pair of heels. Free kick to the wall. They lost their head. They've lost their head. Oh, that's it for nothing! 42 minutes on the clock, and Kenilworth play a nice ball over the top. And Reese misjudged the time of it, and their strikers threw on goal, but the vine's there. The striker plays it into their centre mid, who sets it, and they play a nice ball over the top. One on one with our keeper, and it's the vine with the clearance. When we concede, it's usually towards the end of the half. I guess nothing's changed. Only a few minutes left, and Kenilworth have made it 1 1. I do think it's been against the run of play, but that is football. The ref calls for half time. I do feel the boys are only in gear one. They really do need to step up the performance to make it through to the next round. It's going to be interesting to hear what the gaffers have to say. Where's your pride and desire to win this game? The game should be put to bed. We're not moving the ball quick enough. Other than that piece of brilliance, what have we what have we created? Nothing. Clear chances. Decision making and passing is poor. The speed of passing is poor. We're hesitant. It's not good enough. But yet you're still in the game. So what happens when we start working? We start making the right decisions. Some of you lot still asleep. Do you want to win the game? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, show us. Prove to everybody how good we are. We can't keep going through this, guys. Divine, what I was saying to you before, when they've got possession and they're coming out and they've got time, you've got to drop off next to Reese. And when they've got control possession and at the back, get tight. Because what's happening, they're starting to exploit you now because you're indecisive and they're putting the ball in behind you. Yeah? Just listen to Reese. The defence pretty much is dead, but we're not putting them under pressure. I think we need another 20% at least. Yeah. It just looks like we didn't come up the blocks. The only engine they've got is that captain. No one else is going to run for them. No one else is going to work hard. You'll have space because the guy that you're up against, he only goes sometimes. Yeah. He, won't, he won't join in. You know Lambeth, they were joining yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't join in all the time. Yeah, so yeah, sometimes you can cheat. Yeah. Obviously when he goes support yeah, follow, yeah. Divine. Divine, your patience in defending has actually been brilliant, mm. to be honest with you. But obviously the distances when you've gone forward, it's the only thing you've got to work on. He's in your pocket as well. We just need to relax. <laughs> They're not the kind of team that you need to lift up like that. They're not good enough. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was my speech before. Maybe we've given them a little bit too much respect. respect. We're sitting at 80. We don't look like we've come out of gear two. Come out of gear two, put this game to bed. You know little Ryan on the side, yeah? yeah. I can hear little Ryan talking about, oh, we're, we're going to give you an easy Four. ride. We'll just give you a freeze. Nice. I'm not a dickhead. I can't be hearing freeze. Who's a dickhead? 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 Who's a out there and up their performance and bring home the victory. Only 38 seconds into the second half and the Kennewell striker takes a slow motion tumble. Centre back Reese sends a long ball downfield. Cecil battles for it, but it drops to Chris. Come on! Come on, Chris! And it's great defending by Kennewell. 53 minutes on the clock and the brick going past players like they're not even there. But Jay picks up the loose ball and plays it to Divine. Divine takes the ball forward, stands up his man, but the attack comes to nothing. Reese decides he just wants to play by himself, and the ball falls to Cecil. Cecil plays in Jay, and Jay strikes it, and it's a good save by the keeper. And it's a sub for the wall. Chris off, Jordy on. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Good work. No matter what, you can always count on Cecil to work hard. Hey, the ref has no vim in his whistle. No vim, no vim in that whistle. Another sub for the wall. Reese had to leave early, so Gaffer says takes his place. 64 minutes in, and it's an attack from Kenilworth. The winger crosses the ball in. A dodgy touch, and it's cleared up by Ted. Let Ted have it! Chan plays a lovely ball over the top into the brick. Through on goal, 
but he's holding his hammy. Hammy's gone. Hammy's gone. Hammy's gone. Hammy, hammy. And this is a moment I do not want to relive. I did pull my hamstring and had to come off. It's jarring, bro. Number eight, off. Number nine, on. But apparently it's he's Champions League format. He's doing a sub. No, Yo, man, he's on the halfway line. You're okay. letting the game play. Wake up. Wake up for me. Go. Wake up. I appreciate that. Go. I appreciate it. Wake up for me. Go. Go. I'm on my way. 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 i After a great run for the flash, he plays in Meeks. Meeks comes close. Yeah. Oh. Let's go, Ty! Let's go, Ty! Let's go, Ty! 79 minutes on the clock, and Dan plays a lovely ball over the top into the flash. The boy takes the ball down beautifully. He does a couple of step overs and does his best to play in E man. Groin you can't stretch hammy, it. Hammy, hammy. hammy nah, I'd rather do a hammy, hammy than a groin. Groin? Groin you don't know when you're coming back. Groin is yeah. long, bro. Groin you'll, be, you'll sit down, hey! Groin you, think, <laughs> groin, groin, groin you think you're good. Yeah. And then you try playing and it just goes again. I think it's pulled, you know? Yeah. Hey, like. ref, ref, didn't you send off the physio? <laughs> <laughs> you send off the physio, ref. <laughs> How's he back? 87 minutes on the clock. 1-1. One, one, and the boys just need a goal. I guess Julie heard me. And that is exactly what we needed. Jordi the super sub makes it 2-1 to the wall. Let's hope the boys can hang on and lead this game with a victory. Momentum is now with the wall. And can Dan make it free? Oh, I guess not. Kenny Wall go kick. And Bods takes out Dan and their player. Chan chests it down to Chrissy, who plays in mix, through on goal, one on one with their keeper, and he slots it in the bottom corner to make it 3 1 to the Wall FC. Come on, come on, come on. With Mix getting himself on the score sheet, that has well and truly put the game to bed. Hopefully, the boys can learn from the Don's game and see this one out. Look at me I'm speaking to you. Ryan! Ryan! Look at me! Ryan! Look at me! And just before the game ends, there's a bunch of handbags. Dad, keep your head! Dad, keep your head! Keep your head! Cecil! Cecil! Get the f off the pitch! Dad, losers do s like that! Losers do s like that! And that is it. The ref blows the final whistle. The Wall FC have defeated Kenanwell 3-1 in the PPC Cup. It's good that the boys made it through to the next round, which means we can keep at least one cup run going. But before I continue, I do want to say respect and a big shout out to Kenanwell for what they've been doing in the Sunday League scene for years. Thank you to everyone that came down to support the boys and attended the game and also the ones that watched online. Make sure you like, comment and share as we reach closer to that 1,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. Again, we want to reach 300 likes and push for 10k views on this episode. This was another big game and another big victory. So I want to say well done to everybody that played. We do not have a game next week, but we do have an episode from last season coming. So make sure you tune in. I've been your boy Skipper J. But it's good to know today that the boys show Kenanwell nothing gets past the wall.
Yeah. All I'm saying is the changes were right, guys. <laughs> we done it together. We done it together, and that's the most important thing. I don't know who heard, but I said that last five minutes is for Dan, bro. Mm. Because you can't let players come and clatter your player. You've got to back your brothers to the very last minute, and that's another lot of respect that we just earned. I think the man of the match goes to Divine. Bro. I want to pick up Geordie today, man. He's found it difficult this season. He didn't think that we believed in him and we believe in everybody, but it's just so difficult to put people in. And you just got to wait for your chance. When you get it, you take it. Mm. And he's been, he's, been, he's been doing it, you know, the last few weeks, yeah. taking the chances, doing what he needs to do, and he came on a massive, massive goal today. So, yeah. testament to his hard work, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't come to a lot of the games. I try to come as many as I can. Today I saw a team. Today I saw a team that I didn't see three, four weeks ago. Yes. I saw people listening to each other. Yes. I saw people going, do you know what, brother? I'm sorry. I saw a unity. Yes. I promise you guys, like this, we're unbeatable. This morning, didn't Chase say something about my hamstring? Aye, aye. What's wrong with you today? Hamstring, bro. Hamstring. Hamstring for two weeks, man. For two weeks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got too close to Percy. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna play that voice note. This episode, remember that voice note, Ryan said. What do you say? Oh, yes! I'm not trying to have you make one of these emotional tweets if you beat us on Sunday. Like, I just can't lose to you, Sean. Like, it's you all the reason why I can't lose. Like, you, Jerome, Jazz, Seddy. Oh, fuck. fuck. No chance. We're building momentum, yeah. We keep this going every week, yeah. Brotherhood, family, yeah. Yes, Sisterhood, yes. everybody together, Amen. yeah. Amen. On three. Yes. One, two, three. Here we 